Hey everybody, welcome back to Dev Tutorials. Today, we're simplifying React form validation for you. Let's dive in. At the very beginning, we've got this simple code with some inputs. Let's turn it into an actual React form. First of all, let's create an initial form with fields for name, mobile number, date, and email. Next, we'll define a form state and initialize it with the initial form. Alright, let's define the values for the inputs and assign their names based on the values. Then, we'll pass these values to the form. Great, now let's define the onChange function to trigger the value of the input when it changes. The handle change function handles the form state by capturing user input. It retrieves the field name and value from the event object triggered by the input field's on change event, then updates the corresponding state property. Now, let's define the onSubmit function and add a submit button. When the handle submit function is called, it takes an event object, E, as its parameter. Its first action is to prevent the default behavior of the event, which includes preventing the form from being submitted and the page from reloading. Alright, let's fill out the form and submit it to test if everything is working correctly. You see, everything just works. Now, I'm going to apply some styles to our form, which I've already prepared to avoid making the video too long.
And boom, this is our form. All right, let's implement form validation. We'll follow a similar process to how we implemented the form itself. Then, in the handle submit function, we need to ensure that set form errors clears any error messages for the field as soon as the user starts editing it. After doing that, let's define different conditions for every input. It should check if the field is empty and show the error message if it is, otherwise not. In our handle submit function, we'll iterate through each field in the form to verify if it's empty. Based on this check, we'll update the former state to indicate which fields require user input. Finally, let's check if there are no errors present in the form. If no errors are found, it logs the current state of the form and resets both the form state and formers to their initial values.
Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.